That was really traumatizing. Like being, being placed in that type of environment at a young age like that, I was, uh, yeah, I was losing it. Like I just, like you become suicidal and you do, you basically do anything for attention. You yell, you kick your door, you do whatever to try to, just to have, just to have the correctional officers come down there and discipline you and come into your cell and like if they have to do a cell extraction, just that is better than having to sit, having to sit in your cell by yourself all day. It was really a big deal to me and it was really scary and I really didn't know how to, I didn't really know how to process it. You walk in and it was about a six foot width. So yeah, from fingertip to fingertip, I could touch both walls like that. And then I could take about three steps from the very front of the cell to the very back of the cell. There was a sink, a toilet, a bed. There was no window, anything like that. After spending so long in solitary confinement, I kind of didn't want to leave anymore. I was kind of, I was comfortable in my space. I had developed a program and I almost didn't even want to leave. Like I had like, I would kind of get social anxiety when I knew I had to go see the outside doctor or go to the dentist or go to, go somewhere, you know? It was like, oh man, like I would kind of get, I would get myself worked up over just being out of my cell and, and interacting with people. And it got to a point where I just wanted to, I almost didn't want, I didn't want to leave almost, you know, in a sick kind of way. I would look for stuff like that on the literature card, like anything that I thought might be taught in like a college environment or a classroom or anything that just looked like it was full of substance, anything that resembled the classic. And whether it was like an epic novel like Beowulf or, or Homer or The Odyssey or something like that, or even like Charles Dickens, or I think one time I read Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte when I was in ADSEG, just because I didn't really know what it was, but I like, that looks like, that looks like literature, you know? <laughs> lost my social skills to a certain extent, you know? And, um, and so, yeah, and I, think, and I think that has stuck with me. I wasn't really a hardened person. I was never like really prone to violence. I was never really like a fighter or anything like that. When I came out of prison, like I was really defensive and I was really on guard and I was really, I was, you know, I, I kind of had this mind that like any moment I'm gonna have to defend myself, you know? And I think that really translated to people. I think people could really pick up on that. We have a great time together. I love her and I love being around her and it's, it's, it feels pretty natural actually being a, being a parent. I received my, eight, my Associate of Arts degree in Spanish and English. So I read a lot of bilingual children's novels to her. So I read like Green Eggs and Ham to her in Spanish. And I figured out that you can make a career out of, out of literature basically, you know, like you can make, that's something that you can major in and study. I was like, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. Like this is my thing and, um, and I ran with it. And, I ended up here. I go back and forth about 10 times a day of being really proud of myself for being here and really, really thinking like, wow, this is, this is really great to thinking like, wow, I really don't belong here. I do have some type of sense of fate or destiny or something like that. <laughs>